What's up guys and gals, Batman fans, here's a look at the Dark Knight Trilogy, Mafex, Selina Kyle version 2.0, really excited to have this figure, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the Mafex uh, DC movie figures, uh, I think this one is my ninth at this point, including the, the first version of uh, Selina Kyle. Uh, which I will be showing a, a brief uh, comparison of the two later on in this review. But yeah, really excited to have this ever since it was revealed so many months ago. As along with um, some other version twos of like the Joker and the, a version three of Batman, as well as Bane, Scarecrow, Two Face. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, but this one was my most wanted one. There's a quick look at the back right there. Um, most wanted one, and you know I haven't even cracked it open, but I'm already like, wow. <laughs> I am, I'm impressed. I'm pleased. I'm satisfied. Really excited. I think this is gonna be one of my favorite figures. So there you have it. Let's uh, let's take her out of the package and take a closer look. Okay, before we take a closer look at the figure, I just want to give you guys a look at the tray um, and the way it's packaged. And I was, as I was doing this, I was like, I hope this stuff doesn't come falling out. Uh, I wanted to show you guys the way she's packaged, the pose she's in. I can't tilt this all the way; everything's gonna fall out. But um, I like that she's not just in a plain pose. They actually have, you know, she's kind of in a uh, slightly like a walking pose. She has one leg in front of the other. And it's not like they just, this one happened to get thrown in that way. You can see the way that the tray is. It's actually made for her to be posed like that. Oh, uh, there we go. There we go. So anyway, <laughs> let, me, let me pull these out and we'll take a look at the figure. Okay, so here she is. I'm going to go ahead and leave her in that pose for a second while I take a 360 here. And again, you know, as you're seeing this, this is also me, you know, really just first impression. This is straight out of the package, you know, without having have messed with her a bit. And I really, I really think, <laughs> just like I said earlier, I'm, I'm impressed, I'm pleased, I'm satisfied. I really think this is going to be one of my favorite figures. She looks amazing. Um, you know, quality wise, I already know what to expect, you know, from Mafex, from, from newer Mafex, older ones had some issues. Um, and you know what, on that note, let's go ahead and do a quick side by side with the version one, Selena Kyle. She wasn't a horrible figure, but as you can see, you know, uh, biggest thing is the proportions were off. Not horribly, but, you know, comparing it to the version 2, much better. The textures, the um, the, the way the plastic is, you know, the look of her bodysuit, opposed to this, which is really dull. I can't say for sure, I haven't seen in a while how much more screen accurate it is, but I would imagine, you know, it does look more screen accurate. Uh, the likeness, the likeness on the original... Again, wasn't horrible, but I think this this one is in better. And and on the original, you didn't get a version unmasked. Uh, we'll take a look at the masked head in a second. But uh, this this belt flops around, and it looks like the belt on the new one is is fixed to that. So no flopping around of the belt unnecessarily. Okay, let's take a slightly closer look. The texture on on the uh, her suit is amazing. Not a whole lot of paint apps, but you know there wouldn't be on this figure on this character. The likeness is really good. I want to say it's not a hundred percent spot on, but it does look good. And you know my lamps are are kind of drowning it out a bit, but. She does look really good. 
Um, let's go ahead and take a look at articulation. Really, really very well articulated, I want to say. Yeah, that's 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 really good. You get great range of motion. Look at those. You can do full on splits. Even, you know, that pose of the walk and the, the legs kinda, you know, crossing inward. Looks really good. I like that. I like that you can do that. Even look at that. Look at how far she can bend sideways. Really, really good. Yeah, definitely, definitely impressed. And oh, <laughs> I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but I really want to say this is going to be one of my favorite figures now. And here is the masked head. And again, just a real quick comparison. I want to say the... Uh, Aside from the likeness, there's more detail in the mask and, and goggles. And okay, let's move that aside and go ahead and, and switch this out so that we can get her uh, her goggles down. Where's the uh, where is it? So this isn't really difficult to put in. It's the fact that I'm <laughs> I'm doing this from behind the camera. Oh, there we go. There we go. You know, and I couldn't really see it so well, but there you have it. That looks really good. Even in the lenses, it looks really realistic. The only thing missing is some some little functioning lights, <laughs> but other than that. That that just looks amazing to me, you know, for the scale, the realism there. Amazing. So there's that. Let's pop on a few different hands. One of the things I really like about Mayfix's um, alternate hands is how easy they are to to remove and pop on and. It's actually easier than it looks right now because again I'm trying to do this from behind the camera if I was just holding this looking at it straight it would be a different story there you go but you see you see how easily how easy that comes off but it's not like it it's so loose that it'll just fall off it stays on just fine Trying to get the uh, the hand in that holds the gun, so I can give you guys a look at her pistol as well. There you go. There's that. She does come a total with a total of eight different hands. I'm not going to throw all of them on, but just to give you an idea. Let's see, kind of get her in a... Pretty cool. I mean, you can imagine with the posability that she has, you will be able to get her in some really cool poses. This is just me messing with her for the first time. So, you know, the possibilities will be many, but that's just a, a quick look. Really cool. She does come with a figure stand, which it's a standard Mayfex figure stand. I'm not going to bother with that right now. Uh, she does stand just fine on her own, actually, as you can see. Uh, she does also come with a cowl for Batman, as well as 
a broken batarang in it. It's on a, a piece of clear plastic, so you can you can place it down and uh, have her stepping on it like so. Her her heel goes right through it, so that's pretty cool. Um, so that is pretty much it. I want to, you know, I'm, I'm going to put her unmasked head back on real quick. So before I wrap this up, here's a look next to Batman. This is the version 2.0 uh, from a couple or so years back. I don't have the version 3 yet. I don't know if that's even out uh, yet. I, I actually do have a pre-order on Amazon, same place where I got this, but uh, it's not due out here, I believe, until August. Uh, I'm I'm actually pondering if I if I have a need to get the version two. I know I knew that I was gonna have to have this version two of Selena, because again, just look at that. This one wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. This one is, is great. Now, this version 2 of Batman, as however many years back as it goes, I think is great. It's already, it's it's fine. You know, and he has he has a multiple head as well and, and accessories. I'm like, this might be sufficient for me. I might not need to get the version 3. So we'll see. But either way, there's, there's a look at, at the 2 look really good together so there you have it it's the Mayfex Dark Knight Trilogy Selena Kyle version 2.0 she's a pricey figure and you know I will be honest um, you know I, like I said I've got like this this will be my ninth Mayfex from what I've noticed they, they tend to go down in price she is pricey right now if you were to get her right now while she's new but it's possibly something you can wait on because I think she will go down in price you know at some point and then you you wait long enough and then you'll probably just have to pay more for it so you have to know when to pick, pull the trigger I had to have her ready and I'm 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 satisfied so there I have it hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching